Teddy, we'll end the day on an off-the-mic subject that came up today, and I had to scratch my head when I read it, thought it might have been an Onion article, but it was prominent right on ESPN.com. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Teddy, sued for damages from the 2010 oil spill. Now, last time I checked Raymond James Stadium, their practice facility, not located in the Gulf of Mexico. Matter of fact, they're 360 miles away where the oil spill began. You know what they were seeking, Teddy? Not like, hey, you know, we had a— uh, a uh, barge out there that we were using for some of our uh, training facilities. We want like 30 grand because it got ruined. How about $20 million they sued for out there? When the getting's good and money's out there, Teddy, the lawyers will come in, but I can't even believe they were suing. I don't know what maybe Jamie Swinson was a fisherman in the offseason or Mike Evans was a fisherman and they couldn't go out and catch fish, but this was an interesting article to say the least. Well, the the court found that the Bucks revenue in May and June of 2010 was not significantly lower than its revenue during that same span a year later. And to qualify for damages, they had to show that their revenues had rebounded by at least 10% higher in 2011. They couldn't show that. Therefore, the case goes bye-bye. All that being said, and we talk about the legal system, and <laughs> yeah, well, look, if I've got a good team of lawyers and I've got an oil company, BP is writing checks, Hell yeah, I'm going to put a claim in. Let's see what you can come up with. You know, didn't work out for Tampa this time, but the thought process, hey, that's the American way. When a big corporation's writing checks, you take your shot at them. Bucks didn't get it this time.